voice meter potato is like the bigger, faster, stronger brother of voice meter banana. It has more inputs and outputs, and it's just easier to use. With voice meter potato, we are given a lot more control over the audio that runs on our desktop. If you're a content creator like myself and you stream to Twitch, or if you're a podcaster or a YouTube content creator, this platform will change your life. It will give you control over all the audio on your computer without having to get a real audio mixer and a real XLR mic. If you have a USB microphone like myself and you're trying to get that quality audio coming out on any of the content that you create, this is how you do it. In this channel, we have done how-to videos on voice meter in the past, specifically voice meter banana. But with the rise of potato, I'm going to teach you guys how to do more advanced things using voice meter and also other audio applications that will really improve the quality of your content. And it costs nothing. So with that being said, let's jump right into the tutorial on how to set up voice meter potato. First things first, guys, I do want to give a shout out to Coffee Rap Media live on YouTube and also on Twitch. That is the guy that showed me a lot of the applications that I'm going to show you in these future tutorials and also just kind of refreshed my mind and gave me more information on on all the things that you can do with voice meter and all the tools you can use with OBS to really improve your stream. So check him out if you have any serious tech questions or anything like that. He's working on a voice meter masterclass and uh, I got to say it's going to be dope using the link in the description below. Make sure you download Voice Meter Potato using the exe file. Guys, I know it's confusing and weird, but the exe file is gonna be your potato version. The zip file is gonna be your Voice Meter base version. The same goes for banana. If you've watched my Voice Meter banana video and you download the zip file again, the zip file is the base version. The exe file is the actual application. You want to make sure you also have the virtual audio cable downloaded and on top of that guys if you want additional cable inputs and outputs you can donate to voice meter and get two more virtual inputs and outputs which is tremendous help now, if you currently use voice meter banana and you're looking at the voice meter potato video and you're wondering if you should get potato, here's a few reasons why you should. There are five hardware inputs versus the normal three that come with the voice meter banana. Also, you have the VIO inputs here. You have three of them. That just gives you way more mobility with controlling your audio. Same in reflection with the VIO inputs. You have the virtual outputs, and then you also have five hardware outputs. Not only do you have that, but you have this very cool visual design here on the VIO input section. It tells you what is connected to each one of these inputs in voice meter. So you know where the audio is going. As you can see here, up at the top, if you right click these here, you can change the name of the inputs themselves, which is what I have done. I have labeled my first one desktop audio, my second one communications, and my third one music. There are a few things I want you guys to do before we get started. Under the menu on the right here, I do want you to enable system tray run at startup and auto restart audio engine. This is so that when every time you turn on your computer, voice meter application opens for you. You don't have to open it um, every time you turn on your computer. Let's get into the basics of the program. On the left here, we have hardware input one through five, which is going to be your microphones and other input devices, input audio devices, including your virtual audio cables, which we'll get to that in a minute. In the middle, we have the virtual inputs. 
voice meter vio aux and vio 3. In the, on the right, we have the hardware outputs, which are gonna be your speakers, your headphones, Bluetooth devices, any actual hardware outs that you have on your computer. And then on the bottom right, we have the master section, which is gonna have your physical outputs A1 through A5 that you can adjust down here and your virtual outputs B1 through B3. Now, the first thing that we're gonna set up is our microphone. So under hardware input one, make sure you select the microphone device that you're using. The second thing we're gonna set up is the virtual audio cable, which is gonna be under hardware input two. I have mine labeled as Chrome because I utilize this input as a browser input, but you're gonna want it set as the virtual audio cable. Now at the very bottom of each hardware input, you have the A1 through A5 buttons and the B1 through B3. If I were to select A1 or A2 under my microphone, I would be sending my microphone to the hardware outputs A1 or A2. Just to give you an example, if I select A2, which I have selected as the speakers, it would echo. The reason that is, is because I'm sending the audio from my microphone to my speakers, and then it is echoing through my microphone again. B1 through B3 is the virtual outputs. I send my microphone to B2, which is my virtual aux output, so down here at B2. Now, everything else except for your microphone, you probably want to hear, like, your web browser, Chrome or Internet Explorer, etc., and then your desktop audio, your communication devices and music. If you're setting it up just like I have it, you're gonna wanna select A1 on every single one of these devices. Now, the next thing I'm gonna have you guys do is go to your sound uh, panel, go to playback devices, Scroll down and set your default de device to VB-Audio Voice Meter VIO and set your default communications device to Voice Meter AUX Input VB-Voice Meter AUX VIO. Now the next thing I want you to do is go to your main web browser and play audio through that web browser. So Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, whatever you use, play a YouTube video, it just needs audio coming through. Then I want you to go to your sound settings, scroll down, go app volume and device preferences, open that up and scroll down until you find the browser that you're using. Mine is popped up right here, it's Google Chrome and you wanna set that output device to the virtual audio cable. That way, all the device, all the audio coming from your web browser is running through voice meter and then being sent to your headphones. Now, now the next thing I want you guys to do is set up your, vo your voice communication platform. So if you're a Discord user like myself, you just go to the voice settings. Input device needs to be default. And guess what? The output device also needs to be default. Now guys, I'm trying to show you the most simple way of setting up the platform voice meter potato. There's plenty of things that you can do with this program, but by setting up the default devices, the way that I told you to set them up and setting up your hardware inputs and your hardware outputs the way that I have you setting them up is gonna get you the platform working. In future videos, we're gonna go into massive detail on how to really improve the sound quality of your microphone using voice meter potato, also using an application called Equalizer APO. But in this video, it's a very basic how to set up the program itself. I want people to be able to watch the video and set up the program within five minutes and not have to do it or mess with it ever again. For those of you that want more detail, look in my channel, go to videos. We're going to have very detailed videos coming in the future.
So with that being said, guys, that is how you set up voice meter potato in five minutes. We're going to go into more detail on how to get the quality audio out of your microphone, how to get quality audio in, say, your stream through OBS or even Discord. We're going to go into detail on that. But if you're looking for a video on just how to set up voice meter potato, you're good to go. Now, if you're looking for more detail, click the subscribe button on my channel knock that little ring bell so that you know when i post a video so we can continue to grow the quality of our content together also guys i do stream to twitch every monday wednesday and friday night feel free to check me out at twitch.tv slash the francois thank you guys so much for watching the video and i will catch you next time